Hi, this is Roger from Kaka Labs. Today with a different modification, how to improve the vacuum action of this cheap vacuum desolder station, the ZD950. Now in the previous video, I did explain why it's quite useful to have a hard set on of the vacuum. In, in that first modification, I used this uh, vacuum container for foot vacuuming just to have a kind of reservoir and the, the vacuum pump and the motor, which are relatively loud, were for that modification running continuously. And with the trigger switch, you only switched on a valve, a vacuum valve, just to lead the vacuum from the reservoir container to the solder tip or desolder tip. Uh, now, some people mentioned and suggested in the comments that they don't like that the pump is running continuously, uh, even being afraid that it wears out too soon. Uh, I don't think that these things are relatively robust, so I don't think that wear out is really a problem. But of course, the loud noise is uh, not so nice. Uh, so I thought about what about using just a delay circuit so that the trigger switch, just as in the original version, first switches on the pump and then with a delay circuit of one or two seconds, the vacuum valve is opened. So that when it opens, first of all, we already have a fully built up vacuum. And secondly, by placing the valve directly at the desolder gun, the vacuum pump doesn't have to pull the air out of the vacuum hose first. And the vacuum is then fully present here at this point. And the only part that remains is here the way uh, up to the, the top of the desolder gun. So it looks again a little bit awkward that I've put the vacuum valve directly at the desolder gun, but it's still quite workable. Um, you, you cannot hear when I pull the trigger switch, you only, only will hear the motor, you won't hear the click of the vacuum valve which is delayed for one or two seconds. But it's, I think it's a much nicer modification and uh, you still have enough place for your thumb to hold this thing and there is no dangerous voltage, it's just 12 volts. And the delay circuit is very simple. Uh, it's, it's not textbook-like because the, tr the transistor, the switching transistor, does not set on hardly as it should do as a switching transistor. Uh, it just works by slowly charging up a 4700 microfarads electrolytic with a 10k resistor. And when 0.6 or 0.7 volts are reached, the transistor will switch on. And the only other component is the back EMF protection diode here. And that is all. So you need all in all one, two, three, four components and an extra cable, of course, um, from the vacuum valve back to the vacuum station. And so that's all. There are only two things you have to watch out for. There is a marking on the motor of the vacuum pump uh, with plus and minus. Uh, but in fact, it's reversed, probably because the people only realized afterwards that when the motor is running in the normal direction, then the vacuum pump, the membrane pump, doesn't suck, but it blows. So because membrane pumps are symmetrical, and this is a DC motor, uh, just re reversing plus and minus reverses the direction of rotation of the motor and it reverses the action at the outlet of the membrane pump. So when you connect the delay switch, just measure previously or beforehand where is plus and where is minus, uh, otherwise your switching transistor will be destroyed and the electrolytic probably as well. Um, so that's all. You could of course if you want to put the vacuum valve here inside the station, but I think it's a little bit better to have it directly at the desolder gun. So that is all. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and you can support me on Patreon and 
Hope to see you next time. Bye from Raja. Bye from Kanka Labs.